Manners Matter in the Classroom, written by Lori Mortison, illustrated by Lisa Hunt. Mind your manners. Look around the classroom. See all those people? Each of them uses manners. Manners are the way people treat everyone and everything around them. Achoo! Sometimes students use bad manners. Students use good manners too. Here, thanks. When people use bad manners, they can upset others. Gross. When they use good manners, they respect others. Thanks for getting my pencil. No problem. People use manners wherever they go. Students use them every day. Students use manners with the teacher. Please turn to page three. When Nick uses bad manners, he doesn't follow directions. He makes it hard for others to learn. What? Nick get into trouble because he wasn't listening. Nick, please pay attention. Nick, will you read next? Teachers like good manners as much as kids like pizza. When Nick uses good manners, he doesn't he does what the teacher says. The president lives in the White House. He learns a lot because he listens. Students use manners with classmates too. Kayla uses bad manners when she says mean things to a friend. May I sit here? There's no room. Nobody likes to be left out. When Kayla uses good manners, she thinks about how others feel. Sorry, will you sit by me? Sure. Everyone likes to be part of the group. Good manners mean treating others the way we would like to be treated. When Jason uses bad manners, he can be a bully. I get to be the leader. He doesn't think about his actions, how his actions affect others. Sorry I pushed you. That's okay. When Jada uses good manners, she respects others. She acts nicely before getting in line. Do you mind if my friend gets in line by me? No problem. When students use good manners, they all get along. Manners and stuff. Students use things such as books, paper, and pencils every day in the classroom. They use manners with these things too. When Kim uses bad manners, she leaves things all over the place. She makes the classroom a real zoo. I almost tripped. She doesn't help others clean up. What a mess. Oh, sorry, I'll clean it up. When Kim uses good manners, she keeps the classroom neat. Sometimes students need to borrow a pencil or book from a classmate. When Chris uses bad manners, he forgets to ask before borrowing things. He returned things in bad shape. Here's your pencil. It's broken. Or he doesn't return things at all. Where's my green pencil? I don't know. Chris uses good manners when he asks before borrowing pencils, books, or other things. May I borrow your book? Sure. Thanks. He returned things quickly and in great shape. Thanks for letting me use this. You're welcome. Quiet, please. What's for lunch? Squeak. The classroom can be as noisy as lunchtime in the cafeteria. Catch. I got it. Students use bad manners when they make lots of noise. Then no one can hear the teacher. Mike, Owen, and Nina use good manners when they are quiet while the teacher speaks. Any questions? Owen uses good manners when he raises a hand. 
He waits for the teacher to call on him. Can you explain that again, please? When Zoe talks instead of works, she uses bad manners. I'm bored. What's going on after school? Some students use bad manners without talking at all. Tap, tap. Drum, drum, drum. Hmm, hmm. When Zoe uses good manners, she does her work quietly. She doesn't bother others and she gets a lot done. Sometimes students make mistakes. That's normal. When Lily uses bad manners, she seems uncaring. Lily uses good manners when she apologizes for mistakes. Sorry, I tripped. There is a lot to learn in a classroom. When students use bad manners, they keep themselves and others from learning. Have a nice night. You too. When students use good manners in the classroom, everyone learns more, a lot more. Are you practicing good manners in the classroom? I certainly hope so.